and welcome to Residual Lifestyle UK video training. This video will cover continuation patterns, namely bull flags and bear flags. So, as we've said in previous uh, videos, a bullish market is a market that is trending upwards and a bearish market is a market that is trending downwards. So, what we're looking for is a pattern that basically confirms that the market is continuing upwards. Now, let's just see if I can use this here. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay. So this is what a bullish market looks like. So as you can see, it goes up, retraces a bit, then continues up and retraces a bit more. Now, a bull flag, oh, actually, I'll show you on this graph, okay, on this chart. So from the bottom here, we go up to here, and then there's a continuation pattern formed here in the form of a flag. And yeah, as you can see, it's a flag because it basically bounces downwards slightly, looking like a flagpole with the flag attached. Then from there, continues upwards. Sorry, that's really badly done. Uh, draw that again. There. Still not great. But from there, we then go along there. And along there, a flag, and it then continues up again on this market. And that they are bear, uh, sorry, not bear. They are bull flags because they show the market continuing upwards. So now this can go both ways. So we can have bull, uh, not sorry, we can have bear flags as well. So an example here would be from the top down to there then it bounces between these two zones and then continues downwards to there and then of course you can see that actually on the larger scale it goes up even further on a bull market so what you could even do this will be talked about later on in more detail because this is um, what's called fractals so let's first of all clear all this writing Move all drawing tools and then we'll go larger scale. So there's one bullish move up, there is the bull flag, there's the next bullish move up. Actually, you could probably keep going and on and on like that. So, yeah, this is uh, a way of confirming that the pattern is going to continue onwards now there's there's not there's no easy way to know exactly where the end of the flag will form but you need to use a bit of your intuition and experience which of course you only get with time and by looking at charts the main thing is to watch out for these in the charts every single day you don't have to practice every single day but spend a bit of time every week where you just look at the charts look through the pattern, see what you can pick out. So in this case, can you pick out larger scale movements like that one, as well as the smaller flags here and here, here, that sort of thing. 